This is O'Shane McDonald, and you're watching the first ever episode of Comic Book Blast. Don't mind the Barbies, that's not mine. It's a compromise I had to make, that's all. I promise you, O'Shane's as manly as they come. Now, today on Comic Book Blast, Superman vs. Batman in a head-to-head -head fight. Winner takes all. Everyone out there is going on about Batman and the new Batman and Superman with Wonder Woman. Who knows what part she's going to play. Maybe they're doing a love triangle because they love love triangles in Hollywood. So they're going to do this Batman versus Superman movie. Now people say, oh Shane, it's already been determined. I mean, Batman beat him up in one of the comic books and he put kryptonite on his fist and started wailing away and Superman didn't know what to do and just stupidly took a beating from Batman and forgot he knew how to fly and shoot fire out of his eyes. You know, that's so really anyone can figure it out. You got kryptonite, which apparently you can buy everywhere on earth. You just go to the local drugstore. You don't even need a prescription. You don't have to go to the doctor or anything to get a prescription. You just go to the drugstore and say, where, where is the aisle you keep the kryptonite in? And the girl there, oh, that's aisle six. You want to, aisle six, just hang her right after aisle, you know, right there where they keep the diapers. And, and that's where they get it, apparently. Anyone can find it. I'm Batman, and I've got kryptonite on my gloves, and I'm going to punch you out, because Superman, you, you're too stupid to know any better than to just go head first into kryptonite. Like, you're right, I'm too dumb. I'm the Man of Steel, and... From Krypton, but I'm not all that bright. Alright, Superman, I'm calling you out from the sky. Come and fight me. I'm Batman, the greatest hero that there ever lived. That's the sound effect he makes when he flies. He goes, Wah. Now, according to the new Man of Steel movie, whenever Superman falls down or takes off, he rips apart half the city block. That's what he does now. Superman, he, he, before he could just fly with no problem, land and it would be soft landing. Now every time he lands, he does this. Ah! The, whole body, the whole body world just shakes and earthquakes happen and women and their children die because of the bloody, because of rubble falling from buildings and just crumble them down. And so uh, I want, was a man who, who was of the people and now I destroy infrastructure wherever I go. I'm Superman, but at least I'm creating jobs and making unions have lots of work for years to come. So, hey, to each their own. Batman 2 now is also the same thing if you watch the new Batman movie. Before he drove a car, now he drives a tank and he destroys out the city when he drives. Uh, apparently now superheroes don't care about infrastructure. They don't care about human lives. At least if the penguin destroyed the block, he had a purpose. You know, I had to get money. I'm, I'm an evil man. I'm destroying the block because I'm, I'm badass. That's what we have now. Now, that's a sight. Now, Batman has a lot of powers. He's got this utility belt. Now, you can see his utility belt in this Batman is a little, it's a little more conservative. If you look at that Batman over there, he's got a bright yellow. And that's really what is more known. Batman walks around with a bloody yellow belt. He dresses in very covert black and silver, or black, and then he wears a bright yellow shiny belt. I don't understand. It's, it doesn't even make any bloody sense. It's because he wants to hide in the shadows, and then he wears this shiny yellow belt. Maybe so he doesn't get hit by traffic. Maybe that's why. You know, it's, it's like that bandage that they wear, you know, bikers wear, and, or crossing guards. Wear it so that they don't get hit by cars accidentally. So Batman is a crafty man. He wants to be covert. He wants to be shady. He's like a ninja. But at the same time, he doesn't want to get hit by cars. So that was smart. That's how smart Batman is. He's got a bright yellow belt not to get hit by cars. Superman, who aside from wearing underwear on the outside, I guess he's from Krypton. So people from Krypton may not know that you wear your underwear on the inside of your pants. So we're going to have to forgive him because he's from Krypton and people from Krypton, they may have a different sense of fashion than we do. You know, I don't, I don't think most people walk around with their underwear on the outside. And if they did, we'd put them in the, in the loony bin because I think they'd be like, what's wrong with your friend, Charlie? 
He wears his underwear on the outside. Can you imagine if the Leafs did that? Kessel put his underwear on the outside of his hockey trousers? But Superman is a man of steel and can punch you through a brick wall so no one says anything about him. And besides, he's from Krypton and it's his fashion sense. So, whatever. My fashion sense comes from Lenny McDonald. No! Let the fighting begin! Alright, Superman, you're... You're a good guy, and I kind of like you, you know, we, we've we been chums for a while, and uh, we're both on the same side. We both like to fight evil, but because our fans like us to fight randomly, we're going to fight today. Well, if things have, if we have to fight, then we have to fight. Apparently, that's what our fans like, is when we fight, so we don't want to let our fandom down. So let's beat the crap out of each other, alright? Alright, now, ten paces, and we'll start. And... Fair warning, Superman! In case you had noticed, I've got gloves made of kryptonite. <gasps> no, you bloody cheater! You bloody Superman! You've got every power known to man. All we've got is kryptonite. Alright, well, you can use your kryptonite then, I guess. Now, let's fight! Pow! Oh, I'm s kryptonite is hurting me! I cannot take that! Bang, bang! I'm gonna beat the crap out of you now! See, look at. Bang! Bang! Oh, oh, get kryptonite hurting me! I cannot stand it no more! Okay. No, no, fuck off! Ah! Where did you go, you bloody bastard? This is a fight, you chicken! You're not supposed to run away! Hello, Superman! Come out, come out, wherever you are, Superman, you bloody coward! You're running away because I got fists of kryptonite and I'm a ninja and I can kick your arse now! So, like, what's your problem? This is supposed to be a fair fight, Superman! Come back here! Bloody, where the hell did he go? Uh oh, what's that in the sky? <laughs> well, you see now how I landed without destroying half the block. That's how I would land normally. I t what? How did you, why did you throw a car on me, you bastard? Well, I noticed that you apparently had kryptonite and were going to wail on me all day. So I decided that I wasn't going to play a fair game since you weren't going to play fair. So I grabbed the car and I threw it on your face. So now, unfortunately, you're dead. The end. So, who would win the fight? Superman versus Batman. The answer is obviously Superman. That was written by O'Shane McDonald. And those people say, well, it didn't happen in the comic books, therefore it's not real. Well, None of it's real, unfortunately, so my story, my version is as good as the next man's. O'Shane McDonald signing out, this is Comic Blast.